Okay, so one of the more technical aspects of a squad leader's role um, in Project Reality is building firebases and other associated assets. Now, unlike spawn points, um, which are squad specific, firebases, once built, will allow anyone on your team to spawn in on them. Uh, to build a firebase, you need at least one crate, which are dropped from supply or logistic trucks, um, as well as some helicopters and various other vehicles. Um, so you need one crate um, dropped to build a firebase, which then must be worked to uh, be built. Same principles apply for the hideouts used by the insurgents and Hamas, although they do not require a crate to build their hideouts, just an officer kit. After equipping the squad leader radio or cell phone, right clicking that will bring up the phone or radio to your ear. After which you may press T for Tango and then deploy assets, then uh, place hideout or place firebase. It's also worth noting there are some limitations to the placement of firebases. Uh, they can't be built within, I think it's 150 meters of another friendly firebase on the map, so you can't have them too nucleated. Um, furthermore, you cannot have them placed too near the edge of the map. Uh, the distance depends on the size of the map, but generally speaking, if you're near the border of the map, you need to move a bit further towards the center before placing a firebase. Um, a more obvious limitation to the placement um, is that you have to have a clear area in front of you before you place uh, the firebase or hideout. Um, so make sure there's no walls, buildings, or that kind of thing in front of you. Um, it is possible to glitch firebases inside buildings, um, but I wouldn't recommend it as it's most widely considered to be an exploit. As for the rest of these assets, this will then appear as if by magic um, in front of you, and it should in theory be placed, it should appear 10 meters in front of the squad leader. Now before you do this, first make sure there's no friendlies and no one in your squad standing in front of you, because they will either become wounded or dead outright if it lands on them. Once the firebase or hideout has been placed by the squad leader using his radio, um, it then needs to be worked or built um, before it will be um, useful, before you can use it. Um, and now the squad leader, for the most part, for conventional forces, the squad leader has no shovel. Same goes for the medic, um, so you need to get a squad mate to build it for you. It takes a fair amount of shoveling, um, which is number two, uh, default. Uh, I think it's like 60 or 70 shovel actions before a firebase is fully complete. Um, so obviously, get most of your squad building that while you and the medic or whoever guards covers close to make sure no one approaches you, no hostiles approach you. Um, alternatively, in a pinch, if you need to do it fast, you can request crewman kits from the crate or APCs and do some shoveling yourself as can the medic. These firebases and hideouts can also be built faster by using a combat engineer kit. As I say, once they've been shoveled and they have fully finished, um, well, after two minutes warm-up time, anyone on your team can then spawn on your firebase, which appears on the map as a green triangle with a selectable spawn point on it. It's also worthy of note that these firebases will become overrun if any enemy infantry get too close. As I said, it takes um, several uh, shovels to get them fully complete, um, and it's also worth remembering that if it isn't fully built within, I think it's five minutes, they will be destroyed, they will eventually disappear, uh, much as if you knife the radio on an enemy firebase, it effectively bleeds and bleeds out until it um, is destroyed. So it's worth remembering to make sure you complete your firebase um, fairly quickly. Once you have a firebase built, there are several associated assets you can place, providing you are playing for the conventional forces. Uh, to place these sec secondary assets, you need a second crate, um, but these assets provide extra functionality, so you can have wire and tank traps to deny areas and block off roads, that kind of thing, um, heavy machine gun emplacements, anti-aircraft emplacements, and tow anti-tank emplacements. You are limited, limited to the number of emplacements you can have per firebase and, and total number per team. Um, so obviously for things like wire and HMGs, you're allowed a fair, fairly large number for your team and per firebase, but for things like tow and AA, these are severely limited, so only use them when necessary. With these secondary assets, you basically have two options for firebases. You can build small, discrete, well-hidden firebases, 
um, for your troops to spawn in and move away from, or you can have very large, uh, ostentatious, powerful fire bases with all these assets um, to provide more firepower and uh, a, very, a nice hub centralized defense should you need them. As with the original firebase, these are placed by the squad leader using their radio or cell phone, uh, T for Tango, the command menu, and then select the asset, asset you wish to place, which should magically appear 10 meters in front of the squad leader. Again, try not to squash anyone with them, and these also need to be worked before they are um, fully complete and fully functional. Again, they will also be destroyed if left long enough, and uh, should you run upon an enemy, uh, emplacements, these can be destroyed primarily using incendiary grenades.